Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, how's it going? Good. All right, I better do up my shirt here at the Santa. <laughs> Anyways, friends, the weaver pouch, okay? So what it is, one of the issues with it, and, and we're we're close. We're really close with this thing, friends. Only needs a couple adjustments and we're and we're loving lickety split. Look at there's no no issue with the straps. The issue is here it is here. So there's the, we're gonna revamp this thing a little bit. I mean it's fine, but it's too the the axe is too sloppy in there. It'll fall out. Not everybody's packing a monster axe, right? Friends? Sorry, let me just get this there. That's better. That light's actually even not bad back there, is it? With this hi-fi phone. There. Yeah. Okay. Uh, see this? The belt only goes to right there. No, I got to do this. Sorry. There. See, so what happens? There's the, the thing. Here's the back of the pouch. There's the front back there. But the, the pouch only goes till it hits here. See, it hits there and where it ends up, friends, is literally right on the side of your hip and it's no good, your elbows are smacking into the wedges. It needs to go back and ride off your butt cheek, okay? So it's right there, so it's away from you and you've got other stuff there or whatever. Um, but the wedges gotta go up back on the ass cheek, okay? On your bum cheek, okay? So. Here's my fix for it. I'm gonna actually remove the wedges. See this? I'm actually gonna cut a slit in this leather and I'm gonna jump it over top and I'm gonna put it right there and the problem's gonna be solved and it's gonna be in there and actually what it's gonna do is it's gonna hang in there, which is gonna be awesome. So I'm just gonna ever so slightly, I'm gonna just, there you go, pull it off. Here we go. See, there it is, it's off. Boom, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut here a slit, like I said, so that it goes over top, right in here like this, you see? And this pouch won't be in the way, it'll sit there. This I'm probably gonna get over, it slides over a little bit anyway. Hey, bud, who's holding? He's filing a power saw in the back of that pickup. Oh, you got another Mac jacket for him. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool, Pop. So that's what we're gonna do, friends. Very simple. Very simple. I'm just gonna do it with one of these knives. Okay? You, you can watch me if you like. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slip something in here so that I don't cut. Well, mind you, I guess I could cut both sides. What, what, what the hell's the difference? There is no difference, right? So let's do it. Let, let's let you guys see what I'm gonna do here. Okay? Here's what I'm gonna do. Right here. I'm gonna go like this. See? I'm gonna see if I can bust through this, which I should be able to. I wanna center that. So center is there and there. Like that. Okay. I'm in. Look at friends. Look at this. This is gonna be wicked. Okay, now I'm gonna carry on right over the other side. Oh, I'm loving this. Look at me go. Come on. I mean, come on. Check it out. All I'm doing is taking a chunk out of it. I'm loving this. I will tell you that right now. Okay, now we go here. And there we are. We're in. That's tough leather, that. There we go. Now this see that friends you, you see what I'm doing right ouch oh got myself damn it 
Thought I might. Here, let's get this. Did I? I don't know if I did or not. Okay, it's getting a bit finicky here now. I'm right on the top. Sorry, friends. There. That's the one I needed right there. There it is. Good. Okay, got it. I'm not bleeding, so I guess I didn't cut myself. It was the back of the knife that got me. Okay. So you, you see what I done, right? Friends, look. This is what I'm talking about, okay? I'm cutting a piece out so that this can literally ride over top of that freaking band I was telling you about. This is the fix. Oh yeah, boy. Oh yeah, friends. It's wicked. Done. Bango. There's the piece of leather. I might even be able to use that. See this? This is what I'm talking about right there. Watch this. Watch what I do. We're going to pop this belt off here. Now, we're going to go like this. Off it comes, like this, okay? Now, I'm going to put this right against this. I'm going to go through. Well, you guys won't see it unless I turn it this way. So, I will do so. Because that's the kind of guy I am. I go through here. See? One through there. Now, before I go through anywhere else, I go there. Now, I go through, hi, doggy, through there, through the band, right, friends? You know what I'm talking about, right? Through the band, and then up and through the other um, thingamabobber. And there it is. Friends, the problem is freaking fixed. Oh, look at this. It's deadly and it can't go anywhere. Oh, friends, it's fixed. Look it. That was killer. That is the ticket. You see what I've done, right? So there, look it. And not only is it better by scrumptiously dumpskitties, look it. It doesn't go anywhere. And now it won't pull on this. When it goes through here, this is wicked. This is the fix for the weaver belt. But weaver can probably just do this and, and so it's done. So we don't have to cut our fingers. Weaver, are you with me? This is the quick fix. Look at this. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm putting the freaking thing on right now. It's going on. Okay, check it out. Okay, I'm telling you right now, it feels exactly where all my wedges are, right on my can, right there. I love it. Here goes. One. Here, let's put you guys uh, back back up so you, you're set, standing straight up. Sorry, friends, I knocked you over there. Uh, there we go. That's that's the one I need right there. Floop. Floop. Okay. Check it out. Two, okay. Weaver was asking me about eight inch wedges. No, I don't think anybody uses eight inch wedges to be honest with you. See what I mean about that elastic band? Look, it's not, as a matter of fact, as a matter of freaking fact, I'm taking it out right now. It's leaving. I, I do not need it. I'm, I'm, it's gone, right now it's gone. I'm cutting it out of here. Sorry, friends. And there we go. Done. Don't need it. Don't need it. Now, it's just a wedge pouch. Okay? Let's do that again. Oh, there she be. 
Let's get our buttons up so we're not pinching ourselves with something. Okay. So, and you know what the cool thing is, friends? We just fixed a couple problems with those that one little snip. This one little piece of leather. Where is it? Well, you've seen it. It's right there. There it is. We took that piece right out. Now, this is crazy. Look at I'm going to show you this. Look at Shebango. Okay. And come on, you get in there. It's because my it's because it's not tied up. <laughs> That's what it is. Fucking you silly bugger. There. Now we got it. Boom. So it needs to come up because that little thing did hold the wedges in a bit. But it was too much of a nuisance. So that's why we need we need to get this back up, to get this leather back up to the proper height now. You see what I mean? It needs to come back up to here. Eight inches all the way, right here, straight across so it holds these wedges in, up here. Is, you know what I mean, friends? From here, straight across. Friends, it's game on. So, so... Yeah, look, look what just happened. Look what just happened. It's over on the side now, okay? It's away from my arm, look, it's gone. It was right on my hip, it was right there, it's gone. See, running saw now, deadly. Okay, grab one, poof, shaping, put her back in, shaklank, in she goes. There it is. Done. Now, if this was up here, this leather was up here. Mr. Weaver, are you ta Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Now, see, you, you've got actually a pretty big pouch. Uh, I would get this up here. I've said it five or ten times. I'll probably say it again. Get this leather back up. You drop you drop the sloop down. It's, it's too low. Don't worry about the eight-inch wedge. When you stick two or three wedges in... Uh, Hey, boy, have you got an 8-inch wedge? Remember that fat 8-inch wedge? Yeah, where is that? Perfect. Thank you. So, friends, here's the 8-inch wedge. Uh, Weaver, this is specifically for you because you were asking about this. You were afraid that if you took... If you took this out to here, that it would be hard to get out the eight inch wedge. My friend, it's not gonna happen. It, it, nobody carries eight inch wedges, all eight inch wedges. It, they, I, I sure hope they don't anyway. They're terrible and stubby. You don't want stubby wedges. Look at, look at the difference. Do, do you understand what I'm talking about? These are a hard go. If you wanna carry one, carry one. But go 10s and 12s, friends. Run 10s and 12s and get this leather back up. Weaver, you're on to something. So do you see what I done, friends? That is what I done right there. I made the cut so that it is, is in that slip right there. You see that? It goes nowhere. And another thing is so cool. When you put your wedges back in, Okay, in you go there, don't be shy, get in there, there you go, bangle, okay? What you can do too, friends, is you can actually go like this, watch, stick them inside up, upside down, it makes them fit, if, if you're having trouble with a fit, you can stick one in upside down, okay? This pouch doesn't work that good like that, but you can, you can stick them in upside down, and then bangle, that stays super tight. But I, I wouldn't do that with this pouch. It's not designed for it, okay? So my point being, friends, is this. Two tens, shaklank, okay? Two twelves, shaklank, you're in. They fall right in now, boom. You see what I'm talking about? It's wedges that wedges that keep the wedges in the pouch. 
wedges keep wedges in the pouch, not freaking elastic bands. Okay, they're a nuisance. They will get, it already was driving me nuts today. Look at that, boom, two, bang. Love it, back in there, boom, chang, bang. Back it goes, in there, bang, in there, off to the races. Weaver, you're onto something, I like it. it it's a very comfortable freaking uh, uh, tool belt. I'm not joking you. I can't believe you nailed these. These get up in guys' necks and stuff, and these don't, you nailed it. You made your suspenders right, that's huge for guys. We need a place to hang our whistle, guys, too. We need a little thing there for feet, feet. But that's personal because everybody wears it a little differently. So if you hang one on there, it might not be right for one guy. So make a system, make it your own, guys. Make your own whistle and, and hook it onto your suspender when you get it set up. That's not for a weaver. That's for a personal guy to put his own thing on. One guy's going to be tall, one guy's going to be short. Won't make sense for them to put anything on there. Yeah. Weaver. I love it. All I did was cut this freaking strap out and the problem's gone. Freaking gone. I like it. Okay. So that's well, personally what I would do. I, I would just design the, design the belt like that. Look at it. It's where it needs to be now. See? Done. Over and out, Sammy.